everyone, and welcome to another CRM Snack Time Snippet. I'm Alex Killian, the video producer here on Extivia's marketing team. And today we are joined again by our senior business development manager at Extivia, Mike Aaron Herster-Bomber. Mike, great to see you. How's it going? Good to see you, Alex. Going well. Thanks for having me. So today we are continuing in our series on Salesforce uh, industry verticals. Uh, last week we talked about the nonprofit sector and the week before was Salesforce Health Cloud. So this week we are focusing on Salesforce Financial Services Cloud. So Mike, what is Salesforce Financial Services Cloud and how can it help my company? Well, it'll really help you if you're a financial services organization, uh, such as a bank, a wealth management firm, maybe an insurance company, and really just any other financial institution. Um, you know, just like the other Salesforce industry verticals, like we mentioned before, this is a path that Salesforce continues to go down and continues to build out more industry verticals. And just like the other ones, um, it has all that native standard Salesforce functionality you're used to. Like we've talked about before, it has the sales capabilities to allow financial advisors or any other type of sales individual to manage their pipeline, track progress towards their goals, leads, opportunities, referrals, activities, all that standard functionality. Allows for customer service functionality. It's very mobile friendly. The reporting and analytics are very strong. Customization, just like any other product on the Salesforce platform, can be extended very heavily, right? But from a financial services perspective, it does allow for financial services organizations to really properly manage their clients, right? So not just, you know, here's their contact information, but maybe you need to track financial data account balances, transaction history, investment performance, or investment portfolios, insurance policies. It allows you to do all of that out of the box, right? Now, again, like we mentioned with the other industry verticals, the way Salesforce does this is they can, they kind of take anything that they are aware of that any organization in a specific vertical may need, and they put it in the platform. So, if you are a bank, for instance, compared to a, an insurance company, there's going to be different aspects of the financial services cloud that you use that an insurance company might not. They might not need to. They might not care about it, right? But that's the nice thing about Salesforce is you can extend it or kind of, I don't want to say dumb it down, but simplify it to just show you and give you what you need to run your day-to-day -day financial operation, right? So like I mentioned, client management. Collaboration is a strong part of the financial services cloud. So like financial advisors, if you want to collaborate with clients or other team members, such as compliant officers, other advisors, operations staff, it gives you the tools to e easily share notes, um, put documents in uh, and just share other information very securely, right? Again, compliance is a big part of, just like it was in the health cloud with HIPAA, Financial Services Cloud includes built-in compliance tools and features to, to help those financial institutions meet regulatory requirements, right? It provides tools for managing risk, tracking compliant activities, ensuring data privacy and security. All of those tools are pre-built into the Financial Services Cloud. We have put it in place for several of our clients. It is a very powerful tool. Again, there's a lot there. So what we always try to do is come in and understand your business, what you're exactly trying to, excuse me, what you're exactly trying to leverage Salesforce for right from the get-go in the near term, but also sets you up for success in the long term, right? So let's focus on what's important now, knowing that down the road, you might want to bring in some of these other aspects of financial services cloud, but you don't want to overwhelm your users, right? You want to keep it simple so they can focus on doing their job instead of figuring out how to utilize a new system. So just like the other industry verticals we've discussed, very powerful, very flexible, very easy to use, but Salesforce tries to give you a head start by putting in a lot of the necessary processes, security, data points in place that as a financial services organization, you need to worry about and you need to do to manage your business on a day-to-day -day operation. If you have any questions about the financial services cloud, its capabilities, its shortcomings, anything like that, if you're debating on putting it in place or you already have it and are struggling getting the most out of it, please reach out. We'd love to talk to you about how we can help. It's something we're very familiar with and we know what it takes to succeed 
on the financial services club. So thank you, Alex. That was what I had around financial services club. Please, anybody that's watching, do not hesitate to reach out. Thank you so much, Mike. Great info there. Uh, as Mike mentioned, please do reach out with any questions or leave a comment below. And thanks for watching. Please come back next week for another CRM Snack Time snippet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.